how to create meta fields for product variants in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create the meta fields for your product variants. It is very easy and simple to do. As always, you have only to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go to your Shopify store. Then you are going to set up the products. Let's go ahead and select a product that we are going to work with. Let's say here I'm going to uh, see the products that we have and see if there are some variations. I'm going back right here. Let's select a product that has a variation. Let's go for example with this t-shirt and see we have some styles. I don't need that, that style but I go, I'm going to simply to click on this sweater and see that where are the variation. As you can see here, we have the variant which has the colors. We have the gray, the white, and the beige. Now, this is the title of our product. I'm going to simply here click on settings on our Shopify store. Then I'm going right here to click on custom data. This is the first thing that you have to do. We have here on the custom data meta field definitions. You have to click on variants. We have here, as you can see, 11 variants made. We have some variants created by Google, as you can see here. And we are going, we have here some uh, without definitions. I am going to add a definition. Here we have two type, two, ty two type of meta fields. I'm going to type simply the product or product like that product media like that and here we have the namespace and key you have to let it like this here we have the description you can put a description or select a type here for the media i'm going to choose a file for example here we have the uh, things that you are you can go ahead and make we can go ahead and add or add some uh, products, files, etc. I'm going to select file. This is the file, one file only. You can put a description. This is the validation here. We have to set up the images and the video. And then you are going to click on save. This is for the first step. Now I'm going to add another definition called product description description like this description description and here we go now I'm going to put it like this here we have the namespace and key and I'm going to select the type here I'm going simply to put a multi-line text or a single line text it is up to you let's get, go ahead and put a multi-line text then we have here the validations, minimum character count, maximum, regular expression. You have to set up these for yourself or you can have put some uh, values. I'm going simply to click on save here. And we have the product and media uh, meta fields added. Let's go back here to our store, the Shopify store. Click on products and then I'm simply going to the sweater too. This is the sweater too. Here we have some colors and here we have some colors as you can see. And here we have the meta fields for the product. When I click on the variant right here, for example, gray, when you click on it, you will be guided to this page. And underneath here, we have the meta fields that you can see product description and the product media. You can select a media and put it, for example. Here, the product description, you can go ahead and put um, for the, this is for the gray, you can go ahead and put a uh, here light, for example, light color, light color, like that for better weather, like that. Here, I'm going to let it like this. And for the product media, I'm going to select an image for it. For example, let's go ahead and put this as an image. And here we go. This is the first one. 
Now, let's go ahead to add all of these uh, meta fields, media, or uh, and also description to all of our products. You have to make sure that everything go well. Here I have forgot to click on save, save uh, here. Click on white. And there I'm going to add some product description here for the white one here. White as snow like that. I'm going to make this and here for the product media, I'm going to select a media. Let's go ahead and uh, select anything to let it here. Let's go ahead and, and select this. Maybe it is not white, but it is uh, just to make the demonstration. Click on save. And here for the beige, I'm going to put the product description. Uh, page like that page as cream like that. And then for the product media, I'm uh, going to add some uh, like this. Click on done. And here we go. I have put these photos just to make the difference between uh, everything right here be confusing you. Now, after we have saved everything, I'm going to the product again, I'm going back right here. Then simply I am going to view the product. But before that, I'm going to the uh, section or the online store first, then I'm going to click on customize under the themes section, click on customize, then we are going to see the uh, store editor. Here I am going simply to select the product that we have by clicking on this one home page. Let's search for the products and see the products that we have. Here we have some products. I'm going here, see the collections, for example. This is a collection, not in under here, but we have now let's go ahead to the catalog. I'm going to select here winter. And then as you can see, we have the sweater number two. We click simply on it and here we have the product. The first thing that you need to do is to go under the template. We have the product information. I am going simply to add a section or a block right here. Click on add a block and then I'm going to click on custom liquid. Here we have the custom liquid that we are going to add. Let's go ahead and make this custom liquid under the price like that or under the variant picker. Here we have a custom code that we have right now. I'm going to link this code on the description. You are going to copy this code and then you are going to let it here under the liquid code. Here we have the metadata or the meta field that we have added. For example, let's go ahead and see here the settings. Go to custom data variants and we have here the product description. You can see here, this is the address of the uh, variant description, variant.metafields.custom.product-description. It is the same right here. As you can see, if product selected variant, it will show up the description. I am going simply to click on save right here. It will not show up uh, immediately when you are on the editor, but you are going to see here on view on the live website. Click on winter. We'll find the product. And here we have a variant. I'm going to select this. It will be showing up the description of the variants. As you can see here, it has selected or shown the description. We have light color. This is for the gray one. Light color for better weather. I'm going to see right here where are the light color. Go back to the products. Go here. Sweater 2. Select the gray one. I'm going to select the gray. And as you can see, we have light color for better weather. If you want to add the images, all you have to do is to make some modification to the code and see here the uh, the code source or the meta field source. We have custom variant media. We're going to uh, modify this custom 
here uh, we have a variant media. You can go ahead and put the variant media like that and you will be seeing the image. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.